Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. So today I've got a friend, he's got a DJI FPV. So today I'm gonna compare it to my custom built FPV. So let's get to some flying and we'll see what the differences are. So there's one thing that I really already noticed is this drone is built to fly forwards. Like all its aerodynamics are, are built so that while flying forward, you have the least wind resistance while this one is flying at the same angle you're going to notice all of these flat areas are going to be trapping more air so that should help it have better battery life all right let's take it up and see if we notice a difference <laughs> I knew it would happen, yeah. I may have forgotten that you don't disarm yours. Sorry. Don't worry, I got new problems. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Part is auto landing. So, um. Yeah, about that. <laughs> I didn't break I didn't break anything. No. Okay, so far I like it. Um it, that landing would take a bit of getting used to. But other than that, flying it is nice. Okay, I'm gonna put on my GoPro and then I'm gonna chase you flying yours. Now you're gonna be a bit more comfortable because you're flying your own. Yeah. Let's I want to chase you flying beneath these trees. Beneath, like in the yeah. wide open or in the... Just at whatever you want. I'll just follow you. Let's I'm okay with flying is. anywhere. Um, hey, uh, you're not supposed to land upside down. Yeah, I noticed. I don't know how turtle mode works in yours. Mine is just this switch. No, yeah, this switch need, all the way up. I need turtle mode on it. You have to Google it. The the props get caught in the grass and then you can't use turtle mode. But that's sneak shot, it's good as girls. Yeah, no, it shouldn't be a problem. Turtle mode, DJI FPV. A 10 minute video, I'm not watching a 10 minute video. I got turtle mode on C1. That flips itself, there we go. There you go. All right, yeah. I'm gonna take off and then we're good to go. All right, let's Which chase some drones. All right, I'm right behind you. Fine. Wow, that hovering. <laughs> I guess that's GPS hovering. So.
it's dark. We might get another flight in. Oh, I feel the drops. I feel the drops. Yeah, nah. We don't, we're not flying anymore. So uh, we were not done flying yet, but it started raining and it's actually really windy too. So yeah, we're, we're done for today. That is a proper rain. a lot of water. Alright, so we're back home after being interrupted by the rain. I'm gonna help my wife with supper and dishes and then I'm gonna finish the video. Also, our floor is wet. Because it rained in through that window. I think it was windy. It must have been really windy. Because there's also leaves. And this porch has a roof. So yeah, it must have been really windy. I also got my camera just chilling in front of this window. So it's kind of wet too. Oh well, I guess we should have closed the windows before we left. But we didn't. All right, so to finish off the video, um, I didn't get enough time to properly test both drones. Uh, I only got a few minutes to fly, and from what I've seen, the DJI FPV drone really flies well. Like, I wouldn't have anything to complain about, but the problem that I have with it is it's made of plastic, so it's not very durable. Like, for example, the drone I was flying already had a couple of the arms glued together because they were broken. And just while flying now, he crashed a little bit and broke an arm again. So they're not really expensive to replace, but then you got to deal with sensors and things like that, that I just don't have to deal with. So there's a couple of drawbacks, but I will say that if you are a beginner and you have absolutely no idea what you're doing and you don't want to get into repairing drones and all you want to do is just fly. And if you can afford to, you know, have it buy a new one if you crash it and break it, then by all means, get the DJI FPV. Um, it flies a lot easier. It has, like it has GPS built in, so it just hovers whenever you let go of the sticks, it'll just stay right there. Whereas mine is just, it never holds still. As soon as you let go of the sticks, it'll fly off in any direction or, you know, whatever, wherever you leave the sticks, that's what it's going to keep doing. So if you're flying forward when you let go of the sticks, it's just going to keep flying forward. So that's a couple of things to keep in mind. Um, other than that, yeah, I mean, I haven't had a chance to look at the video yet that comes out of its camera. But just while flying, the video looked really good. Like, I didn't have anything to complain about it. So he's still sending me the files. I'm going to take a look at them later uh, when I edit this video. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what looks better. Whereas my drone, um, my built-in camera's quality is terrible which you've probably seen by now. But I'll give you a little bit of an example. This is what it looks like. So I always have to put a GoPro on. If I want good quality video, I put a GoPro on it. So that's, you know, a couple of different things that to think about. Now, cost-wise, if you are completely new to the system, you have to buy a controller, you have to buy goggles and everything anyway then I think they are roughly the same price if you would buy my drone pre-built. Uh, I prefer to buy parts and build it myself, but then there's people that prefer to just buy the thing pre-built. So it's, yeah, the, the DJI PV system is a lot easier. Like, 
it's it's a lot simpler. I got I gotta say that it's it's a lot simpler, just not as durable. I would someday love to get a DJI FPV drone that I could fly for a few days to compare against my custom built, so I can you know try both of them, see what I like about both of them, see what I hate about both of them. Um, but for right now, this is all the practice I got in. This is all the flight I got in. It was it was a lot of fun. Uh, too bad it started raining. We had to stop, but. You know, it is what it is. That's uh, part of the part of the hobby life of you know flying outside. It's can't control the weather. All right. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any other questions about either of these drones or about any of my drones that I fly, um, let me know in the comments. We'll see you in the next one.